it is bright as hell. Unlike me. Hello everybody, E here. Welcome back to another book review. Today we are talking about The Night Parade by Ronald Malfi. My friend Mitch um, and viewer of the channel sent me this as a gift. Thank you so much, Mitch. Um, again, uh, this book is... It was okay. Um, it was pretty good, actually. Uh, I take that okay back because I'm going to give it three stars and not two stars. Um, and don't freak out. Three stars is still good. If you go over to Goodreads, it says, I liked it. I didn't love it. It wasn't amazing, but I liked it. Um, I liked it enough to read an almost 500-page novel in about six days. Now, the main problem I had with this is might might actually be a problem that I have with Malfi moving on. First off, his, and now this isn't a problem, but his writing is is terrific. Don't get don't get me wrong. I love the writing. It does get a bit repetitive at times, um, but with the longer books, it tends to just go that way, and I don't know why. Shorter books, of course, I mean, you're working with, you know, fewer words, so of course you're going to repeat less, but there was a lot of stuff in here that could have been fixed with just a simple word change um, right in the right place, and things like he felt being used to describe, you know, three sentences, like he felt this, period, he felt that, period, he felt this. I mean, you could you could change that up. So there was a little repetition there. But the way Malfi conveys dread and even grief and suspense and tension and horror, he does a terrific job with that. Now, the problem that I have with all this is while his work is mechanically sound, he does borrow a lot from other authors, authors that come, came before him. I have the same problem with Nick Cutter. Um, Nick Cutter just... I, most, of, most of this stuff is like borderline, borderline plagiarism. There's a, there's a whole back and forth in, I think it's the deep. Yeah, it's the deep. It's the one that's underwater. Um, in the deep, where it's taken almost word for word from the movie Event Horizon, um, but instead of fire in zero gravity, it's fire underwater. It's almost word for word. Malfi doesn't have that, that extent of the problem. Where Malfi has a problem is you, he's predictable because you, you get into a certain... Now, there's, a, there's something to be said about the comfort of predictability. You know what to expect going into the read. Um, fortunately, for this book, everything was predictable up until the ending. Um, now, the ending wasn't predictable because I thought they were going to end up in another place. I thought the book was going to end in a different way. I knew the outcome of one of the characters right off the bat. It couldn't have ended any other way for me. Um, so Malfi did a good job there, but it had all of the tropes that you associate with the apocalyptic scenario. And that was a problem for me. I, I, I feel like if you're going to do something, especially a big project like a 500-page book, that you want to add enough originality in there that people don't feel like they know what's coming. Um, now, while, while there, they, it was predictable, it was never boring. So that is a big plus, and that's why it's not a two-star book. I'm going to give it three stars because even though I knew what was coming and what types of scenarios these characters would fall into, I also had a good time. Um, so I definitely like the book. It's a solid three stars. I might even go up to 3.5 if it wasn't for one little thing that really annoyed me. Um, but have you guys read The Night Parade by Ronald Malfi? If you have, let me know down in the comments below. Let me know if you liked it, if you disliked it. Let me know why. Everyone else beware of spoilers. Um, so until next time, I have been E, you have been you. This has been another book review. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye-bye! Still here? Hey, let's talk about spoilers. Spoiler alert! So, the Night Parade by Ronald Malfi. What did I like? Uh, what I what did I did what 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 did I didn't like? <laughs> Anyways, um, so yeah, I mean he's super predictable. I every every time that you run into, you know, there, there's always the end of the world cults. There's always the uh, the crazy hillbillies. There's all all that stuff. There's the, it, it just seems, and there was so much in here that was just horrible coincidence, and that's the thing that knocked it down like the point five. I wrote here in the back, the brother, not only does this dude have um, the child that could possibly save the human race, but his brother just happens to be a prepper out in the middle of nowhere that could, you know, sneak him away at any point in time. Um, 
the, and then when they when they were with the the crazy people in Kentucky, and the, <laughs> this uh, this one actually made me laugh. Like I was like, okay, first thing that's gonna happen is she's going to she's going to touch one of them and freak them out, and then the boy upstairs is gonna go nuts and provide a distraction for them to get away. It happened backward. The boy upstairs started the distraction, and then she touched him. Uh, she touched the uh, it's the main guy. I can't remember what his name was. But those guys, the, that whole crew was completely forgettable. I remember everybody else's names except for them. But uh, yeah, I, I knew how that was gonna go. Uh, let's see here. Then of course at the, <laughs> at the end, um, you, everybody and their mama knew that you, you're reading. <laughs> you're reading, you're reading along, and you know Ellie's gonna, you know, kill the bad guys at the end. Same problem I had with Doctor Sleep, man. Is it one of the the little girl was OP? She was overpowered. Um, so there was no drama there at the end. What I did not expect, what I was talking about at the beginning of the video is, I didn't expect it to end where it ended. I certainly thought that they were going to get um, captured by the government. They were gonna bring them in, start the testings on her. Either that was going to, you know. Kill the little girl. The little girl was gonna go full blown carry on him, um, and just wreck the place, run around touching people or whatever. I thought that would have been awesome had it ended that way, and I wouldn't have even been mad had I predicted it. But um, but and of course we everybody knew David was gonna die. I mean that wasn't even it's a it's a it's a sound horror ending. You end on a low note, but everybody knew it was coming. So those are the problems that I had with it. I don't think. Uh, Oh, there's also a, I even made a note that there's a dangling participle, I think it is. Um, there's some of the, some of the writing in here kind of, uh, let's see here. Walking across the quad, the night was a cold, wet soup. The night was walking across the quad? <laughs> Anyways, if you're a writer, you know why that's funny. So, until next time, buh bye bye